Hello YouTube. Welcome back to Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And today we're going to do something a little different. <laughs> we're going to make a hitch pin. A buddy of mine, the one who owns the Cub Cadet I worked on here a while back, he needed to uh, bring his tractor over his Cub Cadet and get the blade sharpened on it. And uh, he'd come over to borrow my trailer where he didn't have a hitch pin, so I had to borrow mine. He has one, but somebody was borrowing it and never returned it, so you know how that goes. So, in anticipation that they're not going to return it, I went ahead and decided to offer to make him a new one. So I'm going to make one, but it's not going to be like this. It's just going to be a straight pin. So we got us a piece of three-quarter inch stock. And we're going to make that bad boy. So without any more running my mouth, <laughs> I'll go ahead and meet you at the lathe. All right, so the first thing we need to do is face it off. The next thing we need to do is figure out how long we want that. So we'll pull that out there to about right about there. That way we can go about a quarter inch from the jaw. And now we're gonna we're gonna turn this part. We got a lot of turning to do. I think it's about time to change the blade. That's a pretty rough cut. <laughs> All right, well, anyway. So now, we need to decide if we want this style end or if we want just a hole in there for the Q 
key to getting it. So, I guess it really doesn't matter which one you use, but we're going to go ahead and try this route. Uh, I'm not very good with the um, parting tool, but we're going to give it a shot. Alright, so now we got that end done. Pin goes in there just fine, just like it's supposed to. Now we're going to decorate the end of this, but we don't need that much on there, so I'm going to probably take and cut about that much of it off so I'll cut that off and we'll be right back all right so now we've cut that off now we just need a little lip about a quarter inch maybe three eighths that will keep it from going through so we're going to just turn, we're going to turn half of this down, and what I'm thinking about doing is taking a keychain, or key ring, and putting on it after we get done. So we'll turn that down small enough that we can use a keychain, then we'll drill a hole in the center of it, and then use a keychain to put in it for pulling it out. Or you can hang it up somewhere or whatever. So we'll go ahead and stick that in. Now to start off with, I'm just going to stick that out real far. Just so I can file that edge right there. That's about as fancy as I'm going to get. Now I'm going to take that out in the rain barrel and cool it down and I'll be right back. Alright, so now we've got our pin cut to the length that we want. It fits. Just a little looser, but that's alright. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole in here and we're going to use a key ring on it. So here's what we got to choose from and we're going to be between these are about the best ones that we got so I think we'll go with this one because it's a little heavier so now we got to drill a hole in this all right so now we've got our hole drilled now we can go ahead and put this on it and there he's got a pin so now I'm going to do some sanding on this a little more and then we're going to blue that bad boy and call it a done deal so I'll stick her in the lathe and he's going to have to get him another one of these because this one belongs to mine so I'm going to make me one like this also I like this pen looks good and it's custom made so the next thing we'll do we'll go in the house and blew this bad boy and we'll call it done all right so now we're here with cold water and the cold water is to stop the uh, the bluing process so first thing you do is you make sure this is grease free which I've already done then we got our blue super blue we'll shake that up and then I usually have about four cotton balls ready. Then we'll take cotton ball and just squeeze that in there until you start feeling wet against your these fingers. See how it's wet right there? And I just start uh, applying the blue. And you just keep doing that until you get it even. I'm looking at it through the light, like the light shining on it. And when I see it even, even black or blue, <laughs> then I just move on around. All right, we're done with that cotton ball. So now we're just stopping the process. Then we'll take a rag, a dry one, and we'll dry that off nice and dry.
then I'll inspect it and see if that's the way I want it. And it looks about right, but I want to do a little bit more on the end. And it wouldn't hurt to do another on the, the whole thing. So we're going to go ahead and start this all over again with a new cotton ball. We're done with that cotton ball. Now we just put it in here and it stops the rust process. Because that's all blue is. It's, it, it starts the rust process. And there we have a blued pen. So now, we can throw these away. Dry my hands. And then we'll dry this. And now we get to oil it. Now we put a little bit of oil on a cotton ball and we'll oil it. Then we just dry the excess oil off and just leave a very slight amount on it. You got a little bit on your finger so it ain't going to hurt to just massage it in. Then we'll take our pen, or I mean our key ring, and now we've got a hitch pen custom made for Terry. So all he's got to do now is get him a keyway or R key. So I hope that uh, you guys like that and uh, don't forget to like share, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. You guys have a good one. Later.